Okay, here it is, my first Minecraft how-to video. I'm going to build this suspension bridge with the Conquest Reforged Mod Pack. I started by marking the endpoints with wool. But before I get started, let me list the blocks I'm using. First is wool, I use magenta. Next is the World Edit Selection Tool, stone bricks, stone brick slab, stone brick steps, jungle wood slab, torches, iron chains, and finally cage bars. I'll start out by making a wool base to build on. First I'll select one corner of the area I want to fill with wool. Then I'll fly over to the opposite corner and mark that like so. And in the selected area I type slash slash set wool colon magenta and there we are. And then I deselect. And we have the base that we can build the bridge on. Now each span of the bridge is exactly 23 blocks long. So I'm going to use torches to mark out the spans. The first span starts just about where the bridge leaves dry land and goes over water. So I'll start the first span right about here. Now I'll count blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and one more torch to mark the start of the next block. Now I'll just fast forward through the rest. And there we have all the spans marked. There will be a total of three spans. Now the next job is to put down pillars at each end of each span. So I'll start here. Now the pillars have to go all the way to the riverbed or ocean floor as the case may be. Be sure to put three blocks above the levels of the wall. And then connect it to the ocean floor. One, two, three. Three, whoop, three, and all the way down to the ocean floor, like one, two, three, like so. I'll fast forward through the rest of them. Be sure to put one pillar for each torch. Where there's two torches together, put two pillars together. Just like that. One final pillar. And there we go. Each span has been marked off and it's pillar built and it's starting to look like a bridge. Our next job is to lay down the walkway in jungle wood slabs. I'm starting with the first span that's out over the water. I'll put down jungle wood slabs and uh, once that's done we'll need something to hold up the slabs something besides magenta wool so let's knock out this wool and I'm going to put in some cross beams to support the walkway So we start one space away from the pillar and we put in a cross beam, like so. And then skip two spaces and another cross beam, two spaces and a beam, two spaces and a beam, two spaces and a beam, and the last beam should come out one block from the other pillar, like so. Perfect. And now complete the beams on the other side. Now the beams support the walkway planks. But what supports the beams? Now we need the stone arches. So we'll start with two blocks. 
One, two, and then two blocks. One, whoops, one, two, and then three blocks. One, two, three, and then seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's the top. Now we'll work our way back down like before. Three, one, two, three, and two, one, two. Now two more. One, two, and done. And now we'll put some stairs to smooth out the arch. And some stairs underneath. And for good measure, stairs to hold up the walkway between the uh, spans. Just like that. Now that's the arch done. We can attach chains to the cross beams and carry them on up to the stone arch. So you see the walkway rests on the beams and the beams hang down suspended from the archway. So it's actually the stone arch that holds up the walkway. And so that's why it's called a suspension bridge. Okay. All right, that looks good. Oh, I almost forgot. I need some uh, slabs on the top to round out the shape. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, and there we go. That looks pretty good. Next, we'll add some cage bars. The purpose of the bars is to tie the two side-by-side -side archways together. It also makes a sort of a roof over the walkway. Three and whoops, one and two and one and there we go. While I have the cage bars in my hand, I might as well put, in, put on the handrails. There are a lot of different things you could do for guardrails. I'm just using the cage bars because they're easy and I think they look pretty good in this application. You could use fences, wooden rails, lots of choices here. And just for visual interest, I'm going to try putting another cage bar on top. See how that looks. Well, that's kind of interesting. I think I'll leave it like that for now. Now before we cut and paste the span, we need to add some lighting for nighttime crossings. So I'm just going to spam a bunch of torches wherever they fit. There we go. Now we're ready to copy and paste the whole archway to the other side. I'm going to put a couple of um, wool blocks to stand on while I copy and paste. One on this side and a matching one on the opposite side. In order to select the whole arch, I'll need a block I can hit with the selection tool. So I'll go down here and I'll pillar up until I'm higher than the highest point of the arch. Um, Let's see. No. That looks good. Okay, I take the selection tool and mark this corner. Then I go to the opposite corner of the archway and mark it. In order to copy the arch, I need to stand on the reference block and type slash slash copy. 
like that. And then I'll deselect it so I can see what I'm doing. And before I paste, I need to flip the arch left to right. To my right is north, so I type slash slash flip north. And supposedly the clipboard has been flipped. So let's stand on the opposite reference block and type slash slash paste. Slash slash paste. So did it happen? Yes, it happened. Now we have a complete span left and right sides. Now we need a new reference box block to uh, select the whole span. So let's get rid of that old wool down there. So we can put a new pillar marking the corner of the entire span. Okay, so new pillar goes where? Right here. Okay, that looks good. No, one more. Okay, now we're good. Now we select that point and then we'll go to the opposite corner and select that. Oh, oh, we didn't select the first point. We'll go back here and select the opposite corner. There we go. And that's the whole span uh, selected. Now my reference point for the copy and paste will be the first slab on the right side of the span. So I stand right here and type slash slash copy. Then I'll deselect it so I can see where I'm going, and I'll run to the first slab of the right side of the next span, and slash, slash, paste, and run to the next span, and repeat the process. There we have it. Three completed spans. Looks pretty good so far. Now the two ends are going to be solid stone, so let's fill those in. We can uh, get rid of this pillar. Now with the selection tool, I'll build a solid block of stone bricks. Oh, wait a minute. One more block to get rid of. Um, build a solid block from here to the opposite corner and type slash slash set stone brick set stone burl set stone if I can spell stone brick okay there we go stone brick now we do the same at the other end now that I think about it I should make these ramps four blocks wide instead of two. So at this end I'll select a larger area and fill it with stone brook, stone brick. There. Now that leaves room for handrails. Yeah, that's much better. So let me fix the other end. Select and select and fill. And next comes the handrails. So we'll put in handrails here. And uh, we'll go put uh, handrails on the other end too. I'll just speed through that.
there we go. Solid approaches to the spans. Well, I got some holes to fill. I should have just selected a deeper corner when I did the fill, but uh, oh well. Yeah, next time I'll do it right. And build. Okay. It doesn't look too bad, but that blank wall, that needs something to break it up. I'm going to put some arches through it. Punch some holes. Fix the floor. Okay. Now I need to find that stone arch in the Conquest Masonry tab. There it is. Uh, we'll put the arches on. That's a decent archway. Let's add some more. I'll speed through. Okay, now let's add some steps. Let's run down to the other end and do the same. Steps first. And then archways. That's pretty good, but those pillars look kind of spindly. They need to be beefed up, so I'm going to select an area one block bigger all the way around, and I'm going to fill it with stone brick. I'm just going to use the set command. Select the block, and fill with stone brick. Deselect, and have a look. Yeah, that's much better. Those, those are a nice chunky base for the pillars to rest on. So we'll do the same for the other pillars. Select, and select, and fill. There we go. And now for the end pillar. Okay. Um, let's see. Wait a minute. How, how high above the water line was that other block? Two blocks. Two blocks high. Okay. One, two. And select. And select and fill. And there's the whole thing done. There's a lot more that could be done in the way of detailing, but this is a solid basic structure to work from. And so now I'll go back here and I'll turn the shaders on so we can see it in all of its glory. And there we go. Be sure to hit like if you enjoyed this and comment with any suggestions. And thank you for watching.